what's the curtain welcome back to the channel somebody actually asked me what's what's your channel about and i was like Bleh. it's it is what it is like today cupcakes tomorrow painting next day fitness maybe not fitness to be honest if it wasn't for lockdown you guys would be seeing how great my hobby life is i can't i can't even think of them now but like i was everyday busy everyday hobby i lived a full life before lockdown Liar! anyway so today as you can see from the title we're making champagne cupcakes so actually it's my friend's 30th birthday which is mad i've known her for over like half of her life i don't know what it's like to nearly be 30 because i'm not going to be 30 for like maybe another 30 years so i'm gonna make us some grown-up cupcakes because obviously lockdown we can't get together we can't drink together by the way i don't just always drink champagne on the weekends we had something to celebrate and we had this like leftover bottle and it was like it's gonna go flat so i actually had some I think it was pink champagne cupcakes a while ago and I don't know where, but I was like, that banged. And then I will do a drop off and then we're gonna celebrate tomorrow over a Zoom. Also, I'm not gonna do like the filling that the recipe recommends because YOLO, it just, it is too tiresome. and <laughs> Nobody got time. So I, I got some little frosting cause like, hands up. Who baked at the beginning of the first lockdown? Like who did the banana bread? Anyway, we were all basic bees in the beginning. So because of that, I have a bunch of baking stuff. And let's be honest, like <laughs> for a while, I've fought it. I've been like, nah, I don't have a sweet tooth. But the truth is, facts don't care about feelings. And I broke and now I bake like every two weeks. Like it's, it's, it's really not going well for me. I'm gonna be honest. Corona, let me go. Let me go sad. This is not me, y'all. I'm fighting for my Life. Let's get into it. I'll just do a quick run through if you want to do the same recipe as me. Get your cupcake tins ready over here. Uh, yeah, over here. Get your oven preheating when you start all this so it'll be ready for you. Got my champagne measured out. Got my rose water, which I'm gonna I'm gonna add a little spice into my frosting. And I've got my whites separated from my yolks. And I've got my sugar and flour, uh, baking powder, and some salt. Got my van vanilla. Oh, I need to do the YouTube thing. Vanilla extract. And then I've got some homemade buttermilk and then i've got my butter measured out let's see what happens so it says to first whisk your whites into peaks i think we can call that whipped into peaks i have to say the recipe i'm using is one of those american ones and it's like hi uh, it was a rainy tuesday 1992 it's like babe come on i just i just want the recipe so you have to scroll for about 10 minutes and then finally get the recipe but it sounds okay so I've beaten the egg whites, all peaky and nice. And then we have to cream the butter and sugar until nice and airy. I would say that's a bit of a creamy consistency. And then add the egg yolk. And also I've, <laughs> I've mixed the, it says to mix the buttermilk with the champagne and vanilla extract. Look at this beautiful concoction that we have. Wow. Just makes you think of flavor. Ah! Actually, it just smells like vanilla. Final step is to fold the egg whites into the dough, the batter. I have to say, I've never really mastered the art of dolloping cupcake batter into cupcake holders, so we'll see what happens. I've washed my hands, so I'm just gonna do what I, I usually do. If it's wrong, go fight with your mom. If there's any bakers out there being like, you're putting too much dough. I can't hear you anyway, so. So that's it, into the oven. Okay, so they're in the oven now and they're gonna cook for about 15, 15 to 18 minutes. I'm gonna do tidy up, but I'm also gonna do the champagne reduction to like pour over or rather brush on top of it. And I'm gonna, also gonna make the frosting. I got this frosting from Lidl a little while ago and I'm just gonna add some rose water and some jam, you know? Because strawberry and vanilla go well together. I didn't have any frozen strawberries or anything so i wasn't gonna go out and get them but i do have some jam and i feel like it's the same thing so i'm just gonna make a diy frosting because technically i'm still making my own frosting they've come out the oven pretty good actually this is <laughs> this is the champagne reduction it's gone down quite significantly probably too much i don't know but it looks nice and syrupy i've made a, uh, a couple of holes with a with with this what's the name i don't know and i hope that it doesn't like drown it and it becomes like a soggy bottom because so far the they're, they're pretty good and <laughs> they're pretty good welcome back it's been like half an hour and the cakes have cooled and i've got this like rewashable or reusable icing set i got it i don't know how long ago and it's loyal oh i mean it was quite light and fluffy well sort of well this is going very well 
here here it is here it is so and then you just kind of like push it down until you get to the little nozzle bit and then that way pretty much all the bubbles come out what i normally do is like push out a wee bit first so as a wee taster boom perfect the first couple ones are not that good but we persevere so i'll just do it on these ones that were a bit not great ah not bad not bad okay we'll start let's go proper one. Ooh. Oh, okay there's an air bubble in there this is not going well i made it seem like i was good at it didn't it you believe me let's try again why isn't it working Girl, you really embarrassed yourself, haven't you? This has worked really well in the past. It's just because someone's watching me now, I'm gonna embarrass myself. Maybe I used the different nozzle head. Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> okay, you know what, we'll just, we'll just go with that. It is what it is. She knows it's homemade in the end. Wow, I've really done something. If this was a different color frosting, <laughs> I mean, no one can say I didn't try. <laughs> you, can, you can see that it would have been great, but the devil's a liar. Look at this. I promised you greatness and I gave you amateur, but it wasn't me. Do you know what I mean? Like, I know a shoddy workman blames his tools, but wow, who could have predicted this? <laughs> Why did you do me like this? <laughs> it's okay. I'll keep that one for myself. That's fine. You win some, you lose some. We move. Out of 12, we got two cute ones and some other, you know, some ugly sisters in there, but it's okay. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a happy birthday either way. So that's it. As you can see, I will not be joining the Bake Off anytime soon. Not that I'm not great for personal reasons. Don't worry about it. But yeah, that's the champagne cupcakes. I will not try them myself because they're for the birthday girl, but I'm sure they bang. Haters will tell you that presentation matters, but don't worry about them. Do not worry about them. Thanks for watching. See you next week. I'm here at the drop off site. Socially distanced drop off site. Happy birthday! Oh my gosh, I'll come back. <laughs>